Hey guys, so today I'm doing my likes and dislikes of the month October. Yes, October. October went by so damn fast and I have a lot of likes. And not so much dislikes, but I do have a lot of likes. These are all of my likes. I put them in this little basket and I have my palettes down here. So let me start with the palettes. First of all, I got this uh, Z palette and this one is designed by Makeup Geek. And I absolutely love the pattern of it. Looks like this on the back. And I bought some of the Makeup Geek eyeshadows because I didn't have them and they had a free shipping worldwide I believe so I ordered some of these and normally if I would have to pay the shipping they cost like a lot of money so that's why I got some of them so in the top row I have just the normal eyeshadows and this one is um, I have to see so here I have peach smoothie Next to that is Coco Bear, then I have Bitten, Corrupt, here I have Starry Eyed, and Stand, then I have the color, I have to check them, because I always forget. This is Whimsical, this is Masquerade, and next to that is Houdini, and here in the bottom corner I just have a Inglot shadow. I do love Inglot too, but I got this from my neighbor because she accidentally ordered two of these so I got this one from her but I absolutely love all of these colors especially the foiled eyeshadows and I'm looking for so forward to trying the um, duochrome eyeshadows but um, I'm going to America uh, around Christmas so um, I'm going to Tampa so if any of you guys live there just please leave a comment down below maybe we can meet up but um, I'm planning on just uh, ordering some eyeshadows and let them come to the house I'm staying at. Then I finally got my Morphe 35O palette and this is what it looks like. I absolutely love the colors. I'm wearing some of the colors on my eyes today and ever since I got this palette I did not wear any other eyeshadow except for the Makeup Geek. So I absolutely love this palette. It looks so amazing. I'm so glad I got it. it cost me a hell lot of money because the shipping was the same price as the palette but I finally got it. It took about a month but I absolutely love the palette so it's really really worth it. Then I'm moving on to this basket here. I just dropped in some products I've been using a lot lately. I absolutely love the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in the scent Coconut and Cucumber. Um, I've got these for a while now and I absolutely love them. So if you can still get them, you should definitely get them. So next I got my first two Colourpop uh, lippy sticks and I got the color Frida which is a satin finish. Looks like this. And I got the color Lumiere which is a matte finish but I don't, I don't really think it's matte. It's more like a semi matte finish I think. So these two I got also and I also want a color pop eyeshadow and this one is the super shock shadow in the color glow and it's just a really nice skin tone brow bone highlight color and I think the texture of these eyeshadows are so interesting. I didn't know they were like a I don't even know how to describe it. It's more like a moussey kind of texture which has a powder finish. I'm not sure but I do love it. So when I'm going to America I'm definitely going to stock up on some more Colourpop. So this was pretty unexpected but I got some Miss 40 lipsticks and they are really really amazing. They just look simply like this and the color payoff is really really I hope you can see it but it's really good. So I got some of these shades as you can see, the, the color payoff are, is really amazing. If you can get it, you should definitely get these. And the colors are really, really amazing. I got another one, but my mother took that one because she really liked it. So I let her take it. But I absolutely love these eyeshadows. Um, eyeshadows. I really love these lipsticks. These are from the BFF. 
line, I think. Then I rediscovered my um, loved MAC lipstick. This one is Please Me. And I haven't used that one in a while, but when I did my uh, MAC lip swatch video, I'll link it down below, I rediscovered this one and I absolutely love it and I've been wearing it a lot lately. This uh, lip pencil by MAC and it's the color In Control and this is from the MAC Vamplify collection, I think. And it's just a really nice, like really nice brick, reddish, pinkish, I, I can't describe it, but it's just a really nice color. And I've just been wearing it all over my lips, just as a lip line or just as a lip liner. I also been wearing 1995 by Gerard Cosmetic a lot. And that one just looks like this. And I've also been wearing the Anastasia lip gloss in the color Vintage a lot. It's a really nice and really pigmented color. I will swatch it on my arm. I just, after this, I'm going to wash my arm. But I hope you can see it. It's not the prettiest swatch, but another more brownish kind of shade. And I've been loving it. Loving it. And um, I've been wearing so much matte lipsticks, but in the winter my lips get really chapped, so I do need to wear more of a glossy kind of product so that is why I'm loving this one lately. So I also have two favorite foundations. The first one is the MAC Studio Waterweight uh, SPF 30 foundation. It's really really thin and really um, it gives your skin a really nice glow but without giving it too much glow if you understand. And I also got the L'Oreal True Match and I've got the color Ivory Rose and I've just been liking this foundation. I do think I need to apply it with a beauty blender because otherwise it's way too cakey. But I've been loving it lately and it's just a really nice finish and it's pretty medium to full coverage. So in here I have all of my brow products and I always use the Anastasia um, Let me see brow powder duo and I've, I love that. I also use a lot of the Dip Brow Pomade. But recently I got the Brow Wiz again and I love it. It's just, it just makes your brows look so natural and really full. So I gla I'm glad I bought this one. So for my setting powder, I've been loving the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder Compact. And this is just a translucent kind of powder and I love to apply it with my damp beauty blender and just bake with it a little bit. So this is a really nice budget um, fixing powder. For highlighter, I've been only wearing the uh, Mary Luminizer. I love it so much. It's just a really nice and pretty color. I've also been wearing some lashes lately. Before I didn't really wear them, but I'm just showing you some of my favorite lashes. I got more lashes, but these are my all-time favorites. So first of all, I got the House of Lash Siren Lash. These are so nice. I really, really love them. Um, and House of Lash also reposted my look with these ones. So. Thank you so much House of Lash, that's really really nice of you. So I really like this one. Then I also like the House of Lash Iconic Lashes. I always see these ones on Desi Perkins, she's my favorite YouTuber. So I had to get these and I absolutely love them. So I also like the um, Social Eyes Lashes uh, Minx 2.0. They look pretty similar to the um, Iconic Lash, just a little bit different, the um, Fixin ones, but um, last week I applied them and they, they looked like, they looked a little bit um, different than usual, so I think they are maybe coming to their end. Hopefully I can fix these ones, but I absolutely love this one and I've been wearing it so much. These are also some favorites. These are the Ardell Demi Louvies and they look really, really natural. I've been wearing this to my internship also and they just look really nice. They look like your lashes but a little bit longer and they just look, they just make your lashes look a little bit fuller. 
So if you want a pretty natural lash, you should definitely try the Demi Luvies. And the last product in my favorites is this Rimmel Super Curler Mascara. I've not been using a um, eyelash curler since I got this one because there is a technology in this that makes your lashes curl. So that's really, really, really nice. Um, I've been loving this one, but I do need to pair it with a other mascara because your lashes can clump up from this one. And some days I don't mind, but some days I want more separate uh, lashes. So I apply it with a other uh, mascara. Just go over with the brush from the uh, Benefit They're Real. So these are all of my likes of this month. So here I have... Oh, Wow. So here I just have a small basket of dislikes. Let me get mm, this one first. So I got this Rimmel Match Perfecting uh, Invisible Coverage. The color matches my skin really, really well. The only thing I don't like of this foundation is that it's pretty cakey. It's like L'Oreal True Match can be cakey, but this one can be really, really cakey. So. You do need to apply this one with a beauty blender. Maybe I just have to get used to it a little bit. So if you guys got this one and like it, please leave it in the comments down below. But I don't know. Next up, also from Rimmel. Oh no, yeah, this is from Rimmel. It's the Scandal Eyes um, Jumbo Liquid Eyeliner. And the eyeliner is pretty okay, but I do like felt tip liners. But this one is so huge that I cannot apply a thin liner. So... I just don't like the thick kind of liner. So now I've got a hair in my eye. So now I've got the Maybelline Go Chaotic um, Volume Express Mascara. And I absolutely like the mascara and the blackness of it. This mascara is just really, really, really black. And I've been wearing it a lot. But um, my eyes kept tearing up and... I could not apply lashes because the glue just went, um, because the glue just disappeared and also on the inside of my eyes I teared up and all of my eyeshadow got ruined. So I thought, okay, what the hell is wrong with my eyes? So I stopped wearing this one because that's the last thing I changed. So I stopped wearing this one and now my eyes are fine. So I do really, really love this mascara. but. My eyes, my eyes are just too sensitive and also it smells really really like glue or something it really smells it's just my eyes are too sensitive for this one so then I got sent some product of Malu Wilt and the products look okay but I filmed a look with this one but I didn't even upload it because it was so bad it was horrible so this is the glossy stick and as you can see it just broke off right away um, it also smells really really bad and like candy but really nasty candy so I don't like the glossy stick so I also got a lipstick in the color doesn't even say doesn't even say okay well, I got this color. This color looks really, really horrible on my skin tone. And this one smells so horrible. I applied it to my lips and right away I had almost had to puke because the smell and the scent and the taste of it is so horrible. I just needed to take it off right away. So another dislike. So then I got the soft eye styler and I don't think no it's just empty so I did like the eye pencil but it was broken and everything fell on the ground and everything smirches smirched on my floor so another dislike and I also lastly got this really nice looking um, eyeshadow palette with some really nice um, cool purple shades but they are so so chalky and 
you can probably see all the dust inside of the palette when you try to apply it it just it just disappears and it's just really 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 bad makeup I did not like the makeup I do have a nail polish from them and the, that one is pretty okay I do like the color I don't think I got it here no I don't have it here I got it on my work but I just hated all of this I absolutely hated all of this so lastly I got some oh. so lastly I got some of the um, Sasha Cosmetics um, products and I did not even try these ones because I got this from the PR company and um, so here the packaging is totally like really really used the um, black here is just faded off so when I open it this comes with this really really useless brush like what the hell is this for all the colors and you can probably see they don't match my skin tone so I don't know why they sent this but it just doesn't match my skin tone at all also the products look really really sweaty I don't know if you can see yeah you can probably see in the middle one it's just really really shiny and it looks like really sweaty I don't know why they sent this so then I also got a lipstick and this Oh yeah, so this is really really strange, I don't know if you can see it but in the lipstick are like a lot of lines and the top of it looks used and I like the color, it looks really really crumbly. Last thing I got is this shine, lip shine gloss and again this packaging is broken. It looks like there is a black kind of stain on the applicator and this is the swatch I don't know if you can see it but and also the sticker on here looks like it's been on there for like two years or something so it looks like they sent me used products and like, I don't know, bad products. I don't know what they did, but it's really, really horrible and I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I didn't even use these products. So these are all of my likes and dislikes of the month. October and I hope you enjoyed this video if you guys want to see this kind of videos every single month Please thumbs up this video and I will definitely do it at um, I hope I can get this video to 50 thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe also Please leave a comment down below for some things I really need to get when I'm in America because I cannot get a lot of products here in Holland so if you guys know anything I really need to get, please leave it in the comments down below and I will definitely get it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye!